With iClone 3, the concept of character creation by attaching accessories to individual bones was born. The two free clone bones, or biped humanoids, which gave rise to the characters such as Clonebot Zack and many other robots. But with iClone 4, the concept of character creation was taken a step further, in which creatures of various types can now be created. The creature-based series enables users to create dragons, horses, and now larger machines, monsters, or bugs. Be it either creature base or clone bone, both use the same concept for character creation. And in this tutorial, you will learn how. Let's start with clone bones. In this tutorial, I will briefly discuss clone bones. You can see the tutorial Universal Clone Bone on Relusion TV to learn more details about clone bones. But let's go ahead and take a look at the basic concepts of clone bones. There are two types, clone bone actor and clone bone custom. Both use the same method for character creation, but Clone Bone Actor comes with a humanoid head, which is interchangeable with other heads in iClone. Whereas Clone Bone Custom is designed where a user can create their own heads, such as the case with the Clone Bot. Okay, to get started to building a new character, just simply add in a prop. The prop can be a prop such as a 3D block, or a model you created or downloaded from Google 3D Warehouse or 3D Exchange. After you have your prop in the scene, there are two ways to add the prop as an accessory to your character, thus creating the character's body. For this demonstration, I will use a sphere. I will scale it down to be smaller. The first is by selecting the prop, then on the Modify panel, go to the Attachment Controls, then press the Attach button and select the bone of the body. I'll choose Upper Torso. After attaching, you can move this object into position. This is where hotkeys can really pay off. Notice on the content manager, the sphere or ball is now a subset of that character. So if I want to select that ball, I have to either select it here in the content manager or by using the select tool and selecting that individual part. This is also a good method if you want to have the object to be attached to the character but not on the character as I could easily have this sphere float above my character and notice if I add in animation the sphere will move with the character but only relative to where the upper torso of that character is. Okay let's try out the second method this time I will use a cylinder. The second method is to select the prop then on the modify panel go to the attachment controls again but this time choose any random bone on the character. After doing so Press the button here to bring up more information about which bone or subnode that object is attached to. Then you can select the bone you wish. Perhaps we want the right upper arm instead of the foot. Then there is one last thing. Let's choose that the new accessory will take the position of what it is attached to. Notice that our cylinder has moved to the position of the character's right arm. If I undo that by pressing Ctrl Z, we can do the same process to choose another location, but this time, choose position and rotation. Notice now the cylinder is at the right arm, but its rotation has changed, and now the cylinder is on its side. You will normally need to only align to the position and not position and rotation. However, you could want to align by position and rotation sometimes, but once in position, you can always further manipulate the position of your prop with the transform, such as rotating the object around into any position you would like. Again, this is the basics for Clone Bone. To learn more, please see the tutorial Universal Clone Bone. Creature Base follows the same principle as Clone Bone, and since they are not human in nature, you can have more fun. Let's take a look at the Horse Bone, which is part of the Horse Intact Pack. As you can see, the horse is a color coded for its bones, and just like with clone bones, you just attach the props to the horse base model. But notice the bone is still visible. To make the bones transparent, let's go to skin, and adjust the opacity down so we can no longer see the bones. Since the objects are attached to the bones, we can scale individual bones of our creature base, so if we wanted the head to be larger, or other parts larger, just select that part 
and scale it larger using the scaling tool on the modify panel. The end result can be anything you like, just be creative and have fun. Now let's take a look at the dragon base, which can be found in the Legend of Dragon pack. The dragon, just like the horse, is also color coded so that the parts of the body can be easily seen and sorted. And just by using 3D blocks, change the scale and sizes, adjust the coloring, and then attach them together to form a head is quite simple, like playing with toy blocks. After you assemble your head, just connect that whole head that you just created with your props and then connect it to the head bone of the dragon. But this time, instead of making the dragon bones disappear like we did with the horses, we just want to change the color of the bone to match the head we have created. So let's choose skin, then change the colors. After changing the colors, we can continue to add more 3D blocks to get our completed dragon that can be fully animated. Next, let's take a look at the mechanical base. There are three models, mechanical biped, hexapod, and a centipede. Just imagine the possibilities for any kind of machine or monster. Each model is designed with two different variations, one with skin and one without skin. The idea for the model with skin is so that you can quickly add other models such as guns, claws, or other machine parts to make the machine look more robotic in nature. Looks pretty cool, right? One without skin is designed so you can start from scratch and create your model for skin just like how we were doing with Clone Bone and the other creature bases. And that is how we can assemble our very own characters inside of iClone 4. Be your characters are humanoid, mechanical, or beast-like, you can create them with iClone 4. Since you can scale the bones of your characters and attach any props to those bones of either Clone Bone or Creature Bone characters, then you can create any character of any size however you like. So just let your imagination guide you and you can create any robots, creatures, machines, or just about any type of character that you can imagine.